everyone, welcome to the PyCharm Fast API tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the Fast API framework, which is a high performance web framework. It's a modern web framework, which recently got huge popularity over the internet. It's backed by Starlet and Pydantic and based on Python standard type hints. Fast API is developed by Sebastian Ramirez, who is currently working in Forethought as a staff software engineer. He has contributed code to countless open source projects like Typer and SQL Model, as well as related to DevOps and Docker and Spark and Python and Angular and many more. You can also reach out to him on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. His presence is everywhere. Let me briefly explain why you should care about Fast API. It offers very high performance on par with Node.js and Go, thanks to Starlet and Pydantic. Significant increases in development speed. Reduces the possibility for human errors. Great documentation, doesn't matter whether you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. It minimizes code duplication. It provides production-ready code with automatic interactive documentation. So it's going to be fun working with Fast API. Also, it's not going to be only Fast API. We're also going to play with Kubernetes, also known as K8S. The Kubernetes project was open sourced by Google in 2014 after using it to run production workloads at scale for more than a decade. Kubernetes is influenced by Google's Borg system. Borg is a cluster manager used by Google. Google's Borg system is a cluster manager that runs hundreds of thousands of jobs from many thousands of different applications. You can also say Borg is the predecessor to Kubernetes. Kubernetes and Docker are subjects on their own, so we won't be getting too deep into that. Instead, we will be focusing on running our application. It's not going to happen that we worked on Kubernetes and we didn't deploy it on a live server. We will be deploying our application on AWS using EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service, and setting a three node cluster along with that. We'll also be setting up RDS, Elastic Cache, and a custom domain with SSL. And finally, at last, I'm going to give a sneak peek into Helm charts where we're going to package our application. And indeed, it helps software vendors and developers to pre-configure their applications with sensible defaults. For your reference, the entire source code will be available on GitHub. You can simply fork or clone the repo and start working right away. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a lot of fun and exciting. I'm going to meet you in the next video.